this is amazing now we are going to see about gpt for all using this you are able to run large language model locally no internet required this could be an alternative to lm studio or jan ai or any other local lm softwares you can see the features here your chats are private and never leave your device run language models on consumer hardware even that includes cpus chat with your local files explore over thousand open source large language models that's exactly what we're going to see today let's get started hi everyone i'm really excited to show you about gpt for all in this i'm going to take you through step by step how you can download and install this application what are the features available is this different from the other tools such as lm studio and jan ai but before that i regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my youtube channel so do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First, go to nomic.ai slash gpt for all. That's where you can download the version. So it's available in macOS, Windows and Ubuntu. So click that and download it. Once after you install, this is how it will look like. So here you've got different options such as chatting, downloading the models, local documents, which means you are able to chat with your documents and settings. So first, coming to models. You are able to download many open source models. In our case, we are going to download Llama 3 Instruct and you can see it's quantization as well. So you can choose your quantization. After that, click the download button on the right hand side and it is downloading. Meanwhile, you can add more models by clicking this icon, add model, if you want to add more. You can also use other models such as GPT 3.5 Turbo, GPT 4, etc. Now it got downloaded. Now we can go to the chat section on the left hand side clicking new chat then you can load the model here click on that and choose the model you want to load i'm going to choose llama 3 instruct now you can ask any questions give me a daily meal plan of any preference and you can see it's automatically generating me the response for monday tuesday breakfast lunch and dinner now to extend this further we can add our own documents to do that on the left hand side you can see local documents click on that let's create a new collection let's give a collection name story and you can choose the folder so here i'm choosing a folder which contains a story and it's stored in book.txt i'm opening it and you can see the path here and create collection so this will automatically start embedding those data and once after it finishes embedding then we can use this as context while we chat we can also rebuild when required or whenever we add some files in that folder automatically it start embedding now let's use this data as our context let's go to the chat creating new chat and on the right hand side you can choose the context which we want to use i'm going to choose the story and now I'm going to ask a question tell me the story in two lines and you can see in two lines the story which i gave is written this is based on the context provided and finally, I want to show you the various settings available. You can choose a default model, download path, number of CPU threads. If you want to enable local server, which is OpenAI compatible, you can still do it. And you just need to tick this box. That's it. I couldn't confirm if it's compatible with embedding models. Next, coming to the model settings, you can change the system prompt, the prompt template, the context length, and you can fine tune this based on your requirement. Finally, in regards to the local document settings, you can choose a basic local gnomic embed text. That's what we use just now. But you can also use gnomic embed using the gnomic embed API. In that way, if your computer is slow, you can use this method to offload all these embedding tasks. And the allowed file extension for local docs is txt, pdf, md, and rst. So that's like a quick overview of this gpt 40 do let me know in the comments below what do you think about this and how this is going to compare with lm studio and jan ai now you know the answer i feel there are space for this to grow further when compared to lm studio and jan ai i'm really excited about this i'm going to create more videos similar to this so stay tuned i hope you like this video do like share and subscribe and thanks for watching